One of the questions that we get asked most at the agency is what is the right mix between digital marketing spend and traditional, or should you be a digital store or a traditional store? Um, our philosophy at the agency has always been to help dealers lay in their digital footprint and then support that with traditional. When it comes to actually looking at percentages, it's really changed over the years. You know, we used to be about 30%, we would see actually our dealers' budgets be about 30% to 35% digital and 60 to 65% traditional. As the years have passed, we've seen those digital budgets increase to the point where recently most of our stores tended to rely on a 50% digital mix, 50% traditional mix. However, it's very important to understand that as we've learned over this last particularly two or three years, these types of percentages don't work the same in every marketplace. And what I mean is this, if you're a store in a more rural market in the Midwest, or if you're a volume dealer in a blue collar market such as Detroit, what we have found is that you can actually have too much digital. And what do I mean by that? If you're a store in a blue collar or rural market, we have found that you need to have a more, or rather not more, but a larger percentage of traditional spend. Why is that? Because the consumer in those markets is still very geared towards responding to traditional messaging, such as radio, television, even print and direct mail. In fact, we have some clients across the Midwest that still successfully rely on newspaper. Now, this is not an argument to say that traditional advertising is a stronger form of advertising or marketing than digital, it's not. But what we have found, like I said, is from market to market, we see fluctuations. When we look at the stores that we have in markets that are larger, more urban markets, markets that are comprised of a higher uh, education background for the clientele, we see a higher need for digital. And so in those markets, we'll see our budgets, you know, 60%, 70% digital in markets such as Fairfax, Virginia, or San Diego, California, or Portland, Oregon, where you have a consumer that is more in tune with digital marketing. So again, it's not one or the other. You know, over the years at the agency, we've prided ourselves in being able to do both, digital and traditional. But what has really helped us be successful with our clients is understanding the local marketplace, understanding the needs of the dealership, and more importantly, understanding the patterns and uh, behavioral traits of the consumer. So it's not a one or the other. It's really, in this day and age, we see a good combination of digital and traditional. So when looking at these different mixes of budgets, you might ask, okay, if my budget is 60% digital, uh, and that's the appropriate mix, what do you recommend that I spend the money on? Well, first and foremost, the most important thing is to make sure that you have a website platform that is really up to speed and contemporary and allows you to market your vehicles appropriately. Again, as I've said in previous presentations, the number one, number one reason why consumers are coming to your website is to look at cars. So your SRPs and VDPs need to be sharp. Outside of having a really well-optimized website, you want to drive traffic into that site as quickly as possible. So in the digital world, what is that? That's Google AdWords, that's social media, that's email marketing, that is behavioral retargeting and geofencing. These products and these solutions in the digital world make up the bulk of what we see our clients' digital spend to be, particularly in the stores in our more urban markets that have a higher digital percentage of their overall budget. When you're moving to the stores, like I had mentioned before, in the more rural markets or blue collar markets where traditional advertising plays a larger uh, role in the effectiveness of driving traffic to either the website or the dealership, what we're still seeing are strong spends on network TV, cable television, and radio, primarily these three, cable, network, and radio. However, as I mentioned before, you'd be surprised to know that there are a lot of stores, particularly through the Midwest, that are still effectively utilizing newspaper. It'll blow your mind, it blew my mind. We've gone into stores and pitched and earned the business and found that dealers were very reluctant to let go of their newspaper. We pushed against it, but found in many instances that it is something that still works. So again, when you're looking at traditional versus digital, it's really a complement of both that works best for stores. And again, you have to look at the marketplace to see, is it a traditional marketplace or is it a digital marketplace?
If you like the information you found here, then you will absolutely love Bradley On Demand. Bradley On Demand is the most comprehensive, in-depth virtual training platform in the automotive industry. We teach you everything from internet sales to phone sales, F&I and everything in between. So sign up at www.bradleyondemand.com.